we're going to have a look at another circle theorem. Um, this one's got the same segment theorem. And what we are going to do is we're going to look at one of the rules that we applied to a previous circle theorem. And we are going to go from the centre to the circumference of the circle. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a line out. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're basically forming a sector. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put in a chord, which is from one part of the circumference to the other. That's what we call a chord. It doesn't go through the center line of chord. So that is a chord. This part was a sector. This is a chord. And now this bit here at the bottom is what we call a segment. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to start by measuring this angle here. So, this angle is 130 degrees. So I'm going to write that on my diagram. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a point on the circumference somewhere up here. So if I chose, say for instance, this point here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to join from my, my circumference to the end, one end of my chord, and to the other end of the chords, not quite right. There we go. Hence forming a shape that we looked at the other day, the other circle theorem, where the angles at the center are double that at the circumference. So in theory, this angle here should be half of this angle. So let's just check. Oh, wrong way around. It'd be helpful if I put it the wrong way around. So this angle here is 65. Perfect. So this is 65 degrees. Now, if I then choose another point on the circumference, say that point there, and I apply the same thing, so I join that to the ends of my chord again, and then I measure the angle. Again, 65 degrees. And it must be, because angles at the centre are double that at the circumference, and again, angles at the centre are double that at the circumference, so it must work for both sections. So, this circle theorem means angles in the same segment are equal. This is your segment, they are coming from the same segment, so angles in the same segment are equal. Now, if we apply that to a question, this is just a very, very, very simple question. A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of a circle. In this one, let's get the right. This is the chord that we were talking about in the previous section. This is your segment here. These are coming out from the same segment. So let's get a highlighter. So this is one of them coming out from this same section, this is the other one, which must mean that this angle and this angle, angles in the same segment are equal, so that must mean that x is just very simply 50 degrees. And if they ask you in a question why, you would say because angles in the same segment are equal.